Hello and welcome to this session on JMeter. Today we are going to learn and see how can we generate graphical results in JMeter. So we will try to uh, get a graph like this where we can have number of hits on our application versus the time. So let us see how can we do exactly and how can we get these kind of graphs. So to save time I have already uh, added some steps. So, so step number one is we have to download JMeter graphs generator listener plugin and we have to download command line graphs plugin so here are the websites from where you can get these uh, plugins so let me go here let me also go to this particular site so as of now I have version 2.0 available so whatever latest version you have you can download it from here similarly here I have uh, version 2.0 and 2.1 available so you can download 2.1 from here or whatever latest version you have and then once you get it these are the uh, zip files you will unzip this and you will get a lib folder and inside lib there is an ext so this charge you have to place inside your jmeter home directory lib folder and then these charts you have to place inside your jmeter home directory lib ext folder similarly for the plugins these two jars will go inside lib and these two jars will go inside ext so if i uh, show you my jmeter home directory is here and this is the lib directory so i will place the jars here and the ones that have to go inside ext will get here okay and once you have done that you will restart your jmeter so that the jars and plugins are available for use okay and then we have to add a test plan and add our samplers and add generate graphs listener so let us go to our jmeter and i will add a test plan and a thread group inside the thread group i will add a sampler let us go with http request sampler and to test it let us test any website i am going to this particular website let me give the domain here and this will be the home page okay let me also copy this and paste it two times and the second request I will go to let us say the archives page so I will add this path and I will say this is the archive page the third one let us go to some other page let us say about page and again I will add this path here and this will be my about page so now we have got our three samplers let us add a listener let us add a view results in tree listener okay and also we will need to save our results to a csv file so that our uh, graphs listener will take the data from there so uh, i am going to go to this particular folder and here i will add the location of my csv file so i want a csv file generated inside this folder inside this there should be a results folder and i will say result.csv okay so let us save this and run this to check our requests are working fine and yes we are getting proper results so now is the time to add our graphs listener so you can see you will get a graphs generator listener here and you will get this only after you have added the plugins and restarted your jmeter so now here i have to give an output folder so let me say output should be created here okay and then i have to give the name of the file from where the data will be taken so of course i will give the same file that i have added here so i want the data to be taken from here okay and uh, you can leave rest of the things as default i will change the granulation time here 
because my test is very small it will get over within few seconds so I am adding a time of 1000 millisecond which is equal to one second so the gap of one second we will get the results let me also increase the threads and the iteration so that we get some good data okay now let me save and run this also I will see here a results folder is created and you can see result.csv has been created and we are getting the data inside this fo uh, file and now once the test is over we have got our graphs as well so let us look at this graph this is showing us hits against the time so these are the number of hits on our application and this is the time and the granularity is one second because we selected thousand millisecond in our settings okay and then let us look at the second graph which is response time in millisecond against the time so again this is very handy and useful let me just split my screen and show you both the graphs so here we can get an overview of the performance test on our application and this will be very handy we can analyze the performance of our application we can see where are the areas which need improvement where is our performance degradation okay and uh, whenever you are working on a real-time projects you can use these graphs to send out the results to your team and to the higher management and it will be very handy and useful so let me just close this now and let us go back to our graphs generator listener and look at some of the other options we have so export mode we have png csv and both if you select both uh, when you will get your results against these graphs you will also get a csv file which will have the data in the csv format okay so that will again be very handy as of now i am keeping it png then we have file prefix so in case you want that all your files which are generated through this listener should have a prefix which will make it easy to locate you can add some prefix so let's say I will add graph underscore so next time when I will run this particular test all my graphs and the files generated by this listener will have the name starting from graph under underscore okay then you can adjust the pixels if you want and then uh, these are the things that you can leave by default or you can change according to your requirement uh, the important thing here will be the granulation time so for example you have a very long run so you can select a granulation time something like 6 lakh which will make the period interval as 10 minutes for now I will keep it as 1000 millisecond because my test is very short okay also you can uh, if you want if you have many samples and you want to exclude or include some particular sample you can give the sample names here okay so this will make it very easy for you to generate your graphs in the way you want you can also increase the thickness of your uh, lines in the graph by giving some value here as of now I will keep it by default okay now let us see what happens when we run it from command line so uh, this particular listener view results in tree is a time and memory consuming we can disable it from here I will remove the results disable this listener and I will save it and now I want to run my test not from JMeter UI but from command line so you can close your JMeter UI as of now I am keeping it open just to show you and now I will go to my command prompt so I am on Mac so I am going to terminal if you are on Windows you will go to command prompt and if you are a beginner in JMeter you can go to my channel and you can go to the playlist JMeter beginner and here you can go to uh, session number 7 where I have shown how to run JMeter from command line non GUI mode so it is very easy you will get it within five minutes if you do not know it I will show you how to do that so what I have to do is I have to go to my location of JMeter bin so in my case it is users desktop tools Apache JMeter bin and here I have to say sh JMeter in case you are on Windows you will directly start with JMeter and no sh and then I will say minus n for non GUI minus t for the location of the test script so I have saved this test 
here so I will give the location of this particular file okay jmeter graphs dot gmx I will give it here okay and then minus l to give the location of the result file so I want the result file here I will give the same location here okay and now I can run it I will also uh, re delete this folder and now I will run my test now you can see result folder is getting generated result.csv is getting generated and after our test is over we will also get our graphs generated in this particular folder so our result uh, has been come and we can see the graphs are getting generated here this is the response time and this is the hits per second okay uh, one more thing that I would like you to show is uh, now see you can see uh, all my files are generated with the prefix graph underscore you can see this right because we had used graph underscore okay so one another thing is instead of hard coding and using absolute path here every time you can also give some property here so I will say dollar curly braces underscore underscore p and I will say result file okay so this is what I have used here okay and again if you are a beginner you can go to my session on functions and variables and you can find the details here so what I'm doing here is instead of hard coding the path I'm saying that there will be a property by the name result underscore file and whatever value of that property is there you have to take that property here in this jmeter result file so what I can do now is I will save this and on my command prompt or my terminal here what I will say is minus J and the property name result file is equal to the location of whatever result file I want to give okay so let us test it now I will delete this result folder and I will run this again so you can see results are getting generated here and once the execution is over we should be getting the graphs and yes the execution is over now and you can see we have got the graphs now okay these are our graphs okay so uh, this is how we can generate graphical results in jmeter hope you like it thank you